Hi, and welcome to the Gameloft video podcast for December 2009. I'm Josh, your host, and as usual, our goal is to show you previews and exclusives of the latest and upcoming releases from Gameloft. This month's podcast will feature some long-awaited updates on previous releases, as well as some new previews about such games as Driver, Tom Clancy's Hawks, GT Racing Motor Academy, James Cameron's Avatar, Bridge Odyssey, and more, including one game that many fans have been waiting for for months, Nova, Near Orbit Vanguard Alliance. You've probably seen the trailer online, but what you haven't seen is this new trailer featuring Nova's multiplayer capabilities. We'll take a look in a few minutes, but in the meantime we'll watch some trailers to build up the suspense a little. Let's start with Driver. First released in 1999, this game introduced a whole new genre, action driving, and now it's going to be one of the most stunning releases for the iPhone. In it, you play as Tanner, an undercover cop posing as a getaway driver trying to expose a national crime syndicate. Driver for the iPhone is not only a port. The original graphics have been worked out to display slick visuals, beautiful lighting effects, and even more detailed texture without any aliasing or pixelization. Just like in the original game, most of the maps are playable by day and by night. At night, car lights, police siren lights, and traffic lights turn on. On the iPhone, they reflect beautifully on the asphalt. Next up, Tom Clancy's Hawks. In Hawks, you get to fly over two dozen real fighter jets, including the Northrop Grumman F-14A Tomcat, which was made famous since its role in Top Gun back in 1986 as Maverick's plane, which created a surge in U.S. Navy recruiting. Other jets include Lockheed Martin's F-117 Nighthawk, a stealth ground aircraft formerly operated by the U.S. Air Force. You can also try out a Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet, now serving within the United States Navy and Royal Australian Air Force. Now, let's check out some gameplay. Set in the near future, you play as David Crenshaw, a pilot flying for a private military contractor running missions against terrorist forces around the world. In preparation for the release of Avatar, Gameloft sent our video team to Los Angeles for an interview with John Lando, the film producer who is also heavily involved in the game's production. He took the time to talk with us about the upcoming film and game for the iPhone. Here now is an exclusive look at that interview. I think if you look at past history, um, fans have had, at times, reason to be disappointed with adaptations from films to iPhone games or to other uh, video gaming formats. Our goal from the very beginning on Avatar was not to allow that to happen, not to restrict the game developer to do things that were limiting. We want to open them up. We want to say, here's our world. You take advantage of it. And let's do it in a collaborative way. And we could assure the best opportunity to create a standalone, great interactive gameplay on the iPhone. After producing a series of acclaimed racing games, Gameloft is branching off in a whole new direction with GT Racing Motor Academy. Our goal was to create the most realistic racing simulation possible. To accomplish this, we set about making a racing game that mimics real-life racing. Features include more than 100 licensed cars from over 24 manufacturers with branded cockpits. We here at Gameloft are proud to have the latest Jaguar XKR, as well as licensed tracks including the iconic Laguna Seca, reimagined in-game physics to add even more realism to a car's behavior, and different sound effects that reflect the power of your car. GT Racing features a fully immersive career mode in which you must pass a series of driving tests to earn your licenses and progress through the game. Doing so lets you unlock cars and challenges, enter new racing events, and access the aftermarket to buy upgrades for your cars and make them better. Since it was first announced in September of 2009, talk of Nova Near Orbit Vanguard Alliance has dominated the chat rooms and forums. With an exciting single player storyline and intense multiplayer capabilities, this is truly going to be one of the most exciting games for the iPhone or iPod Touch. Here for you now is an exclusive look at the multiplayer aspects of Nova. You can play with your friends from Gameloft Live or against the world, locally or online via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connections. Up to four players can play in a deathmatch session in five different multiplayer maps. Many of you have asked for more content to be added to your favorite games, and the programmers here at Gameloft have listened. They've added some updates to some previous releases to allow you to enjoy your favorite games even more. Now we'll show you a few previews, including one for this game that many fans have been waiting for since it was first released. Modern Combat Sandstorm finally has an online multiplayer mode, accessible by Wi-Fi, to let you play against other users from all over the world. 
This update will also allow you to play locally via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connections. Compete in a standard deathmatch or team deathmatch on three different maps. Guitar Rock Tour 2 fans will now be able to download new songs with our Texas Rock or 70s Rockstar pack, including tracks by Leonard Skinner. Each pack costs 99 cents and contains three songs. Download it today and try it out on guitar or drums in quick play mode. Real Soccer 2010's graphics have been updated. Check out the more detailed stadiums, players, fields, shadows, which change according to the time of day, fog, and more. Gameloft Live will be added in Let's Golf, allowing you to earn Gameloft points with achievements, chat with your friends, send messages, compare your games, and more. And finally, the Oregon Trail will now have a Facebook Connect function, allowing you to post your actions directly on your wall, so that everyone will know that your wife has died of dysentery or that you've been attacked by a bear. All Gameloft updates are free of charge, and for those who couldn't download NFL 2010 before, we're now happy to announce that it's available worldwide. Coming to the App Store this December is Bridge Odyssey, a bridge-building game in which you have to accompany nine wild animals on a trip across five different environments. Use your fingers to build bridges over ruined passes, bottomless pits, and volcanoes. Skater Nation is now available on the App Store. Check out the first fully 3D skateboarding game for the iPhone. And that's it for our December podcast for 2009. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our next installment in mid-January, where we'll be showing you more previews and exclusives, including one for the much-anticipated Brothers in Arms 2. We'll also be introducing a new segment next month, where we'll be taking the time to answer a few questions from you, the fans, about anything and everything related to Gameloft. Feel free to post your questions or comments in the comments section of our blog for this podcast. In the meantime, you can get more information and videos on our blog, Twitter page, Facebook account, or YouTube channel. And from all of us here at Gameloft, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everybody.